Welcome to On The Record. I'm your host, Jamal Radio Raheem. Now, for those who are new to this, On The Record, the show where I usually go to record stores, I take you with me, watch me get vinyl, CDs, DVDs, magazines, whatever they really got, I take you with me on the journey. I come back to the crib and explain and show you what I got. Now, in this episode, I went to Streetlight Records in San Jose. My favorite record store, probably, I go there all the time. Now, anytime I go there, I try to get their DVD, CD, whatever they got. If they have one of the mystery bags. And this episode is a mystery DVD bag. So, here's the bag. We already know how I be struggling to open these things. So, let's get it. Oof. They be stapling the hell out of these. They be stapling the hell out of these. All right. So let's see what DVDs I got. The first DVD, The Hangover, the first Hangover, the only Hangover that I think is actually good. This is a funny movie, man. I remember when I first watched this movie, I was dying laughing. All the surprises that they gave us, I did not expect any of them. This movie, though, um, was so good. We put up with two... I would say bad uh, hangover sequels, um, but solid movie, you know what I'm saying? This movie made Bradley Cooper a superstar, in my opinion. Next movie, what is this? Seabiscuit. Um, I don't think I've ever even heard of this movie, but it has Tobey Maguire and Jeff Bridges, who are two good actors, but um, I ain't never heard of this. You know, I I know the horse, like, Sea Biscuit. I didn't know, like, they made, like, a a movie or anything like that. Like, a one with Tobey Maguire, at least. But, um, shout out to that. I'm probably never gonna watch it. <laughs> but, those are two good actors, so it might be good. I'll never find out. Next movie, Tomb Raider. Now, uh, I know this movie was, like, critically, uh... No, it wasn't critically acclaimed. It was like pan. It did bad. But I actually enjoyed Tomb Raider, you know. I think that the game probably deserved better, personally. But I think, like, to some of the stuff in here, I really enjoyed. It's like a cult classic for me, you know. Angelina Jolie, to me, she's like the person that I would, like, picture Tomb Raider being at the time. Um, she did a good job. Pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? Not the best, not the worst. Um, I think I actually own this movie. I might have bought this movie. Um, but Tomb Raider, Angelina Jolie, Laura Croft, you already know. Next movie, American Pie, um, the first one. So I have this movie. I love American Pie. I love all of the American Pies, even the American Wedding movie when they're all like super old and stuff like that. I think this movie is hilarious, you know what I'm saying? I thought all the people in this movie was going to be superstars. All of them, because they all did their thing. This movie was so funny. I watched it at a time where I probably shouldn't have been watching it. Definitely too young to be watching this movie. But it's a funny movie. Um, another solid one, you know. This DVD group is solid, you know what I'm saying? Besides that Sea Biscuit, it's pretty solid right now. Next movie... The Iron Lady, Meryl Streep. Y'all already know, Meryl Streep be acting her ass off. She be acting her ass off. She can act circles around so many people. When you talk about great actresses, you got Meryl Streep. You got Viola Davis. You know, there's, there's, you got Regina King. Um, you got Angela Bassett, the beautiful Angela Bassett. Um, Anytime I say her name, I got to say the beautiful Angela Bassett because that's what she is, a baddie. Um, but Meryl Streep, uh, she can act her ass off. I've never watched this movie, but I'm going to watch it because Meryl Streep is in it. She can really act, you know, really, really act. Um, and this won an Academy Award. Um, oh, it didn't. It just says Academy Award winner. <laughs> I'm capping. But Meryl Streep, um, you already know, the Iron Lady. Solid. Next movie. Ooh. Hoo, hoo. Memento. This movie right here is in my top, I don't want to say 10. It's definitely top 15 of my favorite movies. The twist all over this movie. This is a movie I think 
everybody should see. Everybody should see. Of course, I own this movie already because I think this movie is so freaking good. Um, everybody should see it. The twist that happened, you don't see it coming. Um, shout out to my old roommate, Kelvin. Um, we watched this movie together. Um, he put me on to this. Um, cause I told him I've never seen it. And this dude was like, what? Um, show me this movie. Great movie. Um, you don't see the twist coming. I recommend everybody go see this movie though. Listen, this already has been a, a success. Even though it's some of the movies I already have, um, somebody's getting gifts. That's for sure. Um, or it might, some of this might get hung up on my wall. Um, the last movie is a movie I'm not keeping. Uh, Tom Cruise, The Last Samurai. Um, cultural appropriation at its finest right here. Um, it's not getting a single play in here. It's definitely going to go to somebody. Um, I don't know who. Um, I'm going to find out who's a Tom Cruise fan that I know. And they are going to come up with a new movie because ain't no way I'm supporting this cultural appropriation type of thing. And I really don't like Tom Cruise, you know, besides the Mission Impossible stuff. I don't rock with that guy. But Tom Cruise, cultural appropriation at its finest. Um, the Last Samurai. How are you going to have a movie called The Last Samurai and it's a white guy? Don't make no sense. Don't make no sense. How are you going to be a samurai, the last one? Like, you the last samurai, and it's the white guy. The whitest of the whites, too. Don't make no sense. But um, this has been on the record. Um, this has been the Mystery DVD pack from Streetlight. Uh, let me show you what I got. Cultural Appropriation. Memento, one of the greatest movies that I've seen. The Iron Lady with the great Meryl Streep. American Pie. Tomb Raider, um, which didn't really get the success that it probably should have. I enjoyed the movie. Um, it's fantastic, in my opinion. Sea Biscuit um, with Tobey Maguire and The Only Good Hangover, the first hangover. Shout out to Streetlight. This has been on the record. Um, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace out.